everyone. So I just wanted to do a quick update. I had a membrane sweep yesterday at around 1145. Um, this video is going to be um, all about <clears throat> pregnancy and things happening at the end of pregnancy. So we're all adults here, um, just so that you're all aware. <clears throat> so I had a membrane sweep. It was super uncomfortable. I wouldn't necessarily call it painful, but it definitely, I was like, okay, when is this going to be over? <laughs> um, but I had some cramping afterwards, nothing substantial really. Um, and then this morning I woke up and I definitely had my bloody show. Uh, and then all day I've been really crampy today. Um, and I had like two painful contractions, which I haven't really had. I've just had the Braxton Hicks, um, contractions. Let me open this window. It is hot in here. <clears throat> yeah, I've had just the, the Braxton Hicks type where it's just kind of like a tight hug on your belly. But these were a bit painful, um, like down below. And if I remember correctly, I mean, Pitocin contractions are so different. And that's what I had with my first son. I never experienced uh, regular contractions at all. My water broke and nothing happened for like eight hours. I went in. And they induced me. So I know Pitocin contractions are very different. Um, <sighs> Pitocin, although, whew, out of breath. Pitocin, although people will argue that it's a synthetic oxytocin, it is not. It does not pass the blood-brain barrier. And therefore, it doesn't have an endorphin release. And you don't get any kind of natural pain-killing um, released by your own brain and your own hormones. So they're definitely more intense, more painful. And those are the only tr contractions that I know of. So I really, really, really want to go into natural labor this time. Um, so fingers are crossed. I am 38 weeks and I'm just like praying every day hoping that this will happen before I have to get induced. They want to induce me at 39 weeks. As of now, I have, it's Saturday right now, November 4th. And, um, as of right now on Tuesday, I go in to my high risk OB and they're going to assess my amniotic fluid once again. It was low at the last appointment. Not obviously anything critical. Otherwise, they would have sent me in right away. <clears throat> but they're going to test it once again. And if it is low again, I think I'll probably be induced before the 14th. So I'm just trying everything I can to go into labor naturally. I'm pumping my colostrum which I've done a couple of times, but it hasn't done anything until I got my membrane sweep. I got my membrane sweep yesterday, and today I had some painful contractions while I was doing that. I've done it quite a few times before, and there was nothing. So I'm just hoping that everything's kind of starting. Hoping and praying. But that's the update. Um... I will keep you updated. I do plan on making a birth vlog. Um, so stay tuned and subscribe and like if you like my videos. And thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking and commenting. Um, I love hearing from you guys and I would love to interact with you guys even more. So um, yeah, like and subscribe if you haven't. Comment, good or bad. Uh, I don't really have an ego, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, so thanks so much, guys. Bye.